In this video, I'm going to show how to set up Hunk with MapR Hadoop distribution. The download of Hunk can be found under splunk.com download slash Hunk. And the sample data that I'm going to use to, so, to show some of the functionality of Hunk can be also found underneath the splunk.com and the web assets Hunk, and you will see hunkdata.json file. Before we start the setup, we will need four variables. The first one, Hunk will require the uh, Java home, the Hadoop home, the job tracker, and the link to the file system. And you can see the variables in the slides, and so don't forget to copy these because we will need them at the later part of the demonstration. For the setup, I have uploaded both Hunk and the dataset into HDFS using Hue. The username and password is root and map r. And so underneath the file browser, I have created a subdirectory called user root and then Splunk. And underneath Splunk, directory you can see the actual Splunk software we're going to install that in a minute as well as the actual data set that we're going to query using hunk called hunkdata.json file and that will be found under user root Splunk orders to install hunk we will going to log in into the command line as root and again map R is the password and we're going to cd into slash opt. Next, once we under the slash opt directory, we are going to ask Hadoop to bring us the data from HDFS to the local file system by using the command hadoopfs minus get and I'm asking Hadoop to get me the hunk software to the local directory. Then we're going to extract this Splunk TGZ file that also takes a few seconds and then we can install hunk to install hunk we're going to the Splunk directory slash bin and we're going to run a command called splunk.start Once prompted, we're going to agree to the license agreement. And that action will start the Splunk software. That also takes a few seconds. Once the install has been completed, you can see the URL is the last line over here that will allow us to log in into Hunk and set up the configuration to communicate with a MAPR Hadoop. Next, we are going to log in to the Hunk UI and set up the configuration to talk to MAPR via the UI. Once we log in, we will see on the upper right side the Settings tab, and underneath that, the Virtual Indexes link. Clicking on the virtual indexes link we'll see the providers which is the connection to Hadoop as well as the virtual indexes which are the uh, location where the actual data resides in Hadoop. So first of all we're going to create a new provider inside the provider we're going to give it a name called MapR Provider the Java home, the Hadoop home, the job tracker, and the file system settings, we can do a cut and paste from the slides that was highlighted earlier. Uh, also, uh, we're going to select Hadoop on MR1 for this connection. And lastly, we're going to add a HDFS working directory, which is required by Hunk 
this is the directory where every job is going to land its temporary results and this is the also the same location where Hulk is going to pull the results from Hadoop for visualization. So then the next thing we're going to save this provider and move to the virtual indexes. Create a new virtual index. We're going to give it the name orders similar to the HDFS directory that we created earlier and that is the path to the data in HDFS, the path that we're actually going to query the data from HDFS is under user root Splunk orders and in the whitelist we are going to make sure that we only bring in um, the um, JSON file that we had there. Save that. Next we are going to ask Hunk to query the data directly from HDFS. As we can see, the ability of Hunk to index data on the fly can be very beneficial to end users. For example, we can see that the items, the JSON items, can be expanded uh, we can see that items have a sub a field called category. We can also see that same items that category right here on the left side, where Hunk automatically has the ability to take that raw data, extract that, and then give us statistics about that raw data on the fly as the data get streamed in. Uh, that indexing on the fly is a very powerful tool that then allows end users to go in and build very sophisticated analytics using those key value pairs, ability to go in and build visualization from that raw data to um, analytics within a matter of minutes. This is a very powerful feature that also encompasses the feature we called mixed mode or streaming data from the from HDFS as soon as that data is available. In this case we can see that the MapReduce is still running in the background but although the MapReduce is still running we already have the ability to see subset of the data. Um, we can also kill the job and then if for very long jobs, let's say it's a five hour job and we getting the wrong results, we can stop the job and then supply a hunk with a different job without the need to wait for five hours, then see this is the wrong result. Hunk capability to be very interactive tool is a very powerful feature. We can also see the actual jobs running through the map R U interface. You can tell that actually I the job before this one I killed because it was the wrong job. This job is still running and we have several successful jobs that we just let it finish all the way through. And since Hunk is built on top of Splunk 6, we can see analytics and visualization that includes dashboard. In this case we have the predict command. We can look at some very nice visualization, charting, and graphs. Uh, Hunk fully support mapping out of the box. A D3 visualization on the right side here can be all pulled from Hadoop directly to the Splunk UI using what I just described as truly a very iterative environment. In this particular dashboard, we have a D3 visualization that allows us to do analytics based in this particular case on the English Premier League raw HDFS data to a very nice visualization is part of the um, Hunk interface. The five things that make Hunk very unique 
are number one, it runs natively in Hadoop. In other words, we in Splunk, we translate the Splunk query language to Hadoop MapReduce jobs. Number two, we allow you to interact with Hadoop in a mixed mode. In other words, you can see data preview and see subset of the data fairly quickly. Number three is we allow you to see indexing on the fly where we will let every single data node generate an index data and you as a user that interact with that data can see statistics based on key and value pairs on the fly. And number four is access control where we will allow many users access hunk from the UI as well as the support for Cobros and protect different virtual indexes which basically translate to protect Hadoop directories. And the last thing is schema on the fly as I showed you in the demo. It's the ability to go in and without knowing what the data looks like beforehand, Splunk and Hunk will understand the data on the fly. So to sum it up, Hunk is a very powerful platform that allows the ability of users to explore, analyze, visualize, and build dashboard, and of course, cache the results, share the results, um, apply access control on top of data in HDFS, index it, give you a stream data very quickly so you can see a preview of the data, and give you this kind of infrastructure to give you an end-to-end -end visualization and analytics on top of Hadoop. Also, if you wish, you can go to the Splunk website um, and look under answers.splunk.com or blogs.splunk.com for additional information. Thank you.